1984 ATC 250R. The 2017 build, pretty much right from the crank. This is the first start up of 2021. I actually traded it for a 250 uh, big rig that was actually in uh, excellent condition. And I got this, wouldn't even roll. I wouldn't call it a rolling frame because it wouldn't. Pieces and parts and destroyed pretty much. We tried to get as close as original without spending too much cash. Everything was blasted and cold, it painted, cleared, all the engine parts. It's a different scenario, a little bit of a different outside covering is black, inside covers are red, cylinders red, jug, original exhaust, original shock is rebuilt. I put a blue coil spring, all new bushings, new stickers. I never done this original sway arm. Never painted that, just cleaned it up. Managed to get a caliber and a brake system for it, master cylinder. Yeah, it's extended axle, and I got the hubs, and I coated it them, painted them too with the red, color match red, match with the chain. Like I said, it's original exhaust. It finds that fine, I'm not gonna bother with it. This was supposed to go in the cabin. <laughs> But the mist is kind of flipped. Show piece. So we're just using it now. The way it should be. Got an aftermarket grab bar on the back. Aftermarket tail light. We're in Newfoundland, so most of the stuff is really expensive or you just can't find it, right? Destroyed. Usually stuff down here to salt and it will get to it. And it's the aftermarket seat cover. As close as I could get. Done the tank, done the fenders. Sprockets, chains. No welds on this machine, zero welds, which is zero. It's very hard to find, no welds on the frame, no rust. So it's just a matter of sandblasting and cleaning up a bit. And engine, oh, where do we start? Built right from the crank, base was split, all the gears were inspected, synchronizers. Uh, clutch. There was actually a collar missing that separates the crank, the base from the gear all in the transmission. So I assumed they had trouble with that before because she must have been burning a lot of oil because the gear oil was leaking into the cylinder. And she was burning it. So I'd say she smoked pretty good. So we found that actually coming to Sweden. One little collar. And probably it was a $100 piece back in the day. It might have been like a $2 piece. Tank was actually in really good shape. No rust. Ah, we got it all original jug. So this, like I said, I wanted to get as original as I could. So original bore, original piston, original rings. Well, new rings, but they're original to the bore. It's original carburetor. Uh, I got a mint kickstart. No wear. Like some of your foot slides off and you Bust your ankle up. Yeah, I got skid plate, and I managed to find, pretty much unheard of, the front sprocket cover. Very hard to find. New clutch cable, new brake cables. Every bolt, bushing, anything rubber is replaced. Like I said, engine bolt kit. All new bolts, more mounts. Foot pegs, I managed to scrounge. I had one good one, I got another one, I think it was on eBay. A lot of stuff come off eBay. They get master cylinder and they break. The lines are original. So it worked out pretty good. I think far up like four kicks or something. I haven't got a skid plate now for the uh, swing arm on the back. And up front, we got the shock boots, original. OEM boots, another fortune. 
aftermarket headlight. That's actually, I think it's a 350 X headlight. Not sure. All the bearings were replaced. All the pads. Gooseneck bearings, tree bearings. All the muffler gaskets and seals. The thing is tight. And besides that, it's pretty much it. Probably got about six grand into it all to get her from the from the build, which is not too bad. Not gonna count the hours of labor. You know they're free, right? Yeah, see if she's far up. I'd say the warranty's out from 84. We don't build them like that now. Not too bad for a 38 year old machine, but I don't have the nerve like I had when I was young, so it pretty much just idles in the shed and goes around the garden and back in again. <laughs> if you're having an adult beverage or so, uh, don't mix, drink and drive, don't mix it anyway, but especially with on something like that. Back in the day, it seemed like that was a thing. Yeah, thanks for watching.